Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw a regular triangle using a compass, a straight edge, and a pencil. And then I'm also going to translate that into a hexagon and a 12-sided figure as well. So the first thing you need to do is to draw a point on your paper. And then from that point, that'll be the center of your circle, you just go ahead and draw a pretty decent sized circle. There you go. Now, with that circle and the same distance, that radius that you have measured out, pick any point on the circle and draw an arc through the radius. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a length. You want to copy that length from the outside of the circle or from the where the arc hits the circle, where the arc hits the circle, and make a mark up there on the circle. Here, let me center that a little better. And you'll notice that that should be the same place that this one hits. All right? And that, if you use those three lines, and I'm going to use color here for a little bit, um, just because we're going to have three shapes on top of each other. Now, to make a hexagon, what we're going to do is we're going to take this line here, one of the sides of the triangle, doesn't matter which one, and we're going to bisect that line. And by doing that, we'll be able to create, out of a three-sided figure, we'll be able to create a six-sided figure. So, I'll go out from there, and out from there, and then I'm going to draw my mark straight from the point where these arcs intersect into the center of the circle. That bisects this line segment here. And by bisecting this line segment, I've also bisected this arc here and given us a point. And that will be the length of all the sides of our hexagon. you can see that it'll go from a three-sided figure into a six-sided figure. And the neat thing about this is you can follow this pattern and then go from a six-sided figure into a 12-sided figure. So we'll go ahead and do that too. I'm going to bisect this line right here from that hexagon. And to do that, all you need to do is be more than halfway your um, compass needs to be spread out to more than half of the length of that line segment. Go from both sides, draw it from the center of the circle out. And that'll give you our your bisected line. Now we'll come back and measure out that distance from there to there, and that should be the same distance that we mark all the way along the outside of this circle. So there we have our triangle, hexagon, and then our 12-sided regular polygon right there.